Welcome to the Craps Lab. Let's talk about probability, true odds, payouts, and the house advantage. Probability. What is it? The ratio of the number of outcomes in an exhaustive set of equally likely outcomes that produce a given event to the total number of possible outcomes. Probability. Why is it important? As craps players, we should understand the likelihood of an event so we are aware of the possibilities and can assess the risk versus reward. Probability, expressed as a percentage, takes the number of occurrences divided by the number of outcomes. Probability also can be left as a fraction of occurrences over outcomes. Craps has two dice. Both are six-sided. How many possible combinations are there? Six times six equals 36 possible outcomes on a roll of the dice. How many possible combinations make a seven? There are six possible combinations that make a seven. They are expressed as six out of 36. They are six, one, one, six, five, two, two, five, four, three, and three, four. How many possible combinations make a six? There are five possible combinations that make a six. They are expressed as five out of 36. Four combinations are easy, and the pair of threes are referred to as a hard six. They are four, two, five, one, three, three, two, four, one, five. How many possible combinations make an eight? There are five possible combinations that make an eight. They are expressed as 5 out of 36. Four combinations are easy, and the pair of fours are referred to as a hard 8. The combinations are 6, 2, 2, 6, 5, 3, 3, 5, and 4, 4. How many possible combinations make a 5 or 9? There are four possible combinations that make a 5. There are four possible combinations that make a nine. They each are expressed as four out of 36. The possible combinations for five are three, two, two, three, one, four, and four, one. The possible combinations for nine are five, four, four, five, six, three, and three, six. How many possible combinations make a four or 10? There are three possible combinations that make a four. There are three possible combinations that make a 10. They are each expressed as three out of 36. There are two easy combinations and one hard way each. The possible combinations to make a four are three, one, one, three, and two, two. There are three combinations to make a 10. They are six, four, four, six, and five, five. How many possible combinations make a three or an 11? There are two possible combinations that make a three. There are two possible combinations that make an 11. They are each expressed as two out of 36. The combinations that make a three are two, one, and one, two. The combinations that make an 11 are six, five, and five, six. How many possible combinations make a two or 12? There's one possible combination that make a two. There's one possible combination that makes a 12. They're each expressed as one out of 36. The possible combination for two is only one, one. Likewise, the only possible combinations for 12 is 6-6. Six, six. Here we're looking at all the possible outcomes of two six-sided dice. We're going to explore these a little further and how they relate to some bets, just some interesting patterns that I saw when I was putting this together. Here we're looking at all of the dice combinations with an outcome of seven. Notice that they travel in a diagonal from the bottom left to the top right. They inverse each other at the halfway mark. So you got the one, six, two, five, three, four, the four, three, the five, two, and the six, one. And the opposite of the seven combination, we have going from the top left down to the bottom right at a diagonal, we have all of the pairs. So you have the two and the six on the outside, and then you have the hard ways on the inside. This illustrates all of the dice combinations from two 
all the way to 12. If you go from the top left down to the bottom left and then over bottom right, work to the, they go diagonally in an upwards direction. All the combinations that are for that number, just an interesting pattern I found. A very popular bet is requesting the inside. The dealer will set you up on all of the numbers on the four inside numbers of the box, including the five, the six, the eight, and the nine. And they typically exclude the point unless you indicate that you would like that placed also. If you have four combinations of five, five combinations of six, five combinations of eight, four combinations of nine, for a total of 18 combinations. If you were to place a bet called give me the outside, the uh, dealer would, would set your bets up on the four outside numbers of the box, including the four, the five, the nine, and the 10. So here you see you have three combinations of four, four combinations of five, four combinations of nine, and three combinations of 10. A very popular bet belongs in a couple of systems. The Iron Cross comes to mind. Also played by a lot of lesser experienced craps players because it's easy and accessible. The field. When you bet on the field, it's a one-time roll and you get the two, the three, the four, the nine, the 10, the 11, and the 12. Any of those numbers roll and you win. If you roll a two or 12, you get two times your bet. In some places, the 12 is actually three times. A very popular bet, especially on the come out throw, is a horn bet. When a player requests a horn bet, what they're requesting is any combination that results in a 2, a 3, an 11, or a 12. There are six combinations covered in this bet. Another popular bet on the come out roll is called a world, sometimes also referred to as a whirl. These include the horn numbers, the 2, the 3, the 11, the 12, which all get paid to win. If the shooter throws a 7, it's a push. 